lead generation is hard. It's confusing. The people that are in charge are being fed lies from the people that are responsible for closing the deals. Lead generation is who answers first. Yes, the, the landing page is going to help, but the most money is made and lost by the contact. This is why lead generation is hard. Lead generation is very hard. It's easy to generate the lead. It's hard to make 5,000% return on ad spend from that from your campaign. The first five seconds of any phone call is even the most important. The first five minutes after any form fill is very, very, very important. This is why lead generation is hard. Lead generation is very hard. It's easy to generate the lead. It's hard to make 5,000% return on ad spend from that from your campaign. <clears throat> so that's why I wanted to talk about. So what are some ways that we actually do this? Well, the first thing that we want to do is look at the individual contacts each week, review these weekly, know these better than the sales team or better than the managers there, and then investigate about it. That's one of my meetings that I have every single week here is me going through um, and I'm reviewing their leads in person, every phone call, every chat, every form fill, what their sales team is doing, <clears throat> asking questions, and then saying, here's what I'm doing based off of that. And here's why I need more information. When we're talking about, for example, um, they won't let us have access to CRM. That is, in my opinion, a non-starter. We are not going to be effective at our job because we're going to live and die on what they say is happening, not, not the truth. I would imagine all of you here on this call has not really had a client that knew their MER, their CAC, their LTB better than you after you've done the work and research and found it out and they've been measuring it incorrectly. I've never met a client that measures their own metrics correctly, or at least, you know, not, or at least they've gotten pretty close, but still need some, some help. It's no different than lead for lead generation. <clears throat> lead generation is hard. It's confusing. The people that are in charge are being fed lies from the people that are responsible for closing the deals. Why don't you close that deal? Bad leads. Huh? Solutions eight, bad leads. What do we do then? Well, you know, the person was out to lunch and then went to Disneyland for a week. So those 10 leads that came and didn't really get close close. So those must be bad leads, right? No. <clears throat> they need to be followed up on. They need to be nurtured. They need to be have high touch points for us to actually move the needle. So what I do and what I would all, what I would suggest everyone does if we have a lead generation client is start to investigate actual behind the, the, behind the curtain post lead generation activity to make yourself smarter and to help the client close more deals. Very, very simple. And we actually, Costa and I built, and then we made an exit from the company. It wasn't a great exit. <laughs> it was more of like trying to run away from the company. Uh, but that's besides the point is we built a company that was very, very profitable and worked really, really well. There were just dis difference in agreements with us and the other management teams. But this was a company called, um, um, it was offer paid. So we were generating, uh, we we're spending about half a million dollars uh, and generating a bunch of leads for people looking to sell their home quickly. <clears throat> and here's what we found. And this is true for all the generation. If I go to Google and I type in sell my home, uh, uh, sell my home fast for cash. What are the choices that I have right here? I have four choices. Four choices right here, right? I have four people asking for me to contact them. Awesome. So I'm going to take my Take my ad, uh, click here and I say, awesome. All right. Pull up my phone, dial 623, ring, ring, ring. No one answers. That stinks. One button. I, that person now has lost that lead forever. They didn't answer their phone. I'm already talking to Dub Hopkins. I like Doug. Doug's awesome. Fills me with confidence. Get excited. I'm already sending him pictures of my house. While this person... Close, fast, get cash is trying to contact me and hitting my voicemail, sending me emails. That I'm now ignoring Mark and get spam. <clears throat> the first five seconds of any phone call is going to be the most important. The first five minutes after any form fill is very, very, very important because a person has their mouse in their hand and they're one, one button click away from three of your competitors. If you don't answer your phone, or if you don't get back to the person immediately, you have lost 80% higher conversion rates with a contact uh, time of five minutes or less on form fill and first phone call pickup in, in the first in the first in the first two rings. 
<clears throat> lead generation is completely opposite of of e-commerce. E-commerce takes six days, come back six ways. You know, that's all good. Um, time lag. You know, there's there's you know, I'm I'm looking for that specific product, and you have the best price. Lead generation is who answers first. Yes, the the landing page is going to help, but the most money is made and lost by the contact. So now we look at this and say, okay, let's look inside of this client here and let's look at some of the leads that have been generated. <clears throat> and this is true for any any company. I don't care if they spend a million dollars a day or six dollars a year. When you look at the original source, and I'm just this is going to be different from for each tool, but essentially they'll be pretty much about the same. Now I'm looking at the original source. I can see that these are all the paid search. These are the leads I created one today, three yesterday, two on the eighth, one, two, three, four, five, six, six on the seventh. And I should be able to hop in and see not today, but yesterday, three, this three, these three first leads. Say awesome. <clears throat> What's been the activity? So we had someone that has been filled out. They told us. They're in Chino Valley. Name's Josh. He's a lead right now. He's in Arizona. And a good time to contact him for a quick phone call is between noon and five. Excellent. It's noon right now. Today, I should see before 5 p.m. today, this task be completed and an update in the activity and any notes about the conversation. If I do not, the owner hears about it. I, you're spending $80 a lead and your sales team is out to lunch, apparently. <clears throat> and when, what's nice about this is when we're talking to the actual the the person in charge of this because this is the kind of conversations that we have to have too this is not a glitch i'm interrupting the video you're watching because i need to remind you that i'm always looking for people to join our team so if you're passionate about google ads and you want to work with the best google ads agency on the planet please go to solate.com forward slash apply speaking of working with the best google ads agency on the planet if you're having trouble with google ads and you want professional help that's what we do you can go to solate.com that's s-o-l-8.com to apply for your free no obligation action plan and if i've given you any level of value at all maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel that's how we juice the youtube algorithm so they actually know that i know what i'm talking about if you have questions comments concerns or confessions hit me below in the comments and now back to your regularly scheduled program here's what we're having conversations about the lead came in and he says thank you these guys are gonna get peppered with tasks whether they like it or not currently just sold the most buildings ever in a month 17 big congrats and thank you for helping our campaigns it says, awesome, congrats. Um, yes, if you're annoyed during the day as a salesperson, you're either getting things done when you're not working, you're unemployed. And he says, ha, totally stealing that statement. So we have a we have a management style with these people in here that if you're not contacting them, you're fired. You're unemployed. That's it. You don't make any money. You're you're gone. That's how what's nice to work with to say, here's how the activities have to happen in this company for it to work. And now they've sold 17 buildings in one month. That's millions. And we're spending six, seven grand a month on, on ads. <laughs> because we're going past the point of lead generation. A another company would say, hey, I dropped you off 17 leads. What happened? You did? Uh, hey, Bob, how much do we sell? None. Oh, these leads suck. Yeah, you, guys, you guys suck. Horrible, horrible leads. Bad, bad company. Solutions ain't bad. So that's the difference with lead generation. E-commerce, they buy in their sleep. With this, it takes a human interaction. So when we're talking about all lead generation, it's completely different. Way, way, way different. And some of the activities are, we should need to see activity immediately. The leads that are coming through this, this field are gold. I cannot get a better lead than this. They're in Prescott, Yavapai County. I make them fill out the county that they're in. I'm getting stupid with these things. They're in Arizona, in Prescott, Yavapai County. They want a 36 foot by 56 foot RV garage, one side, 720 square foot apartment, one side, back garage door, front eyebrow porch. If they don't close this, Something's really wrong here because these are gold leads. They're dropping in their lap with, they even have the length, the width and the height of the building that they want to build. <clears throat> we made it very ridiculous for this to fail. Now this was on December, or sorry, this was February 9th. So my notes here, no notes. This was, uh, this is February 9th. This is a day old so far. And there's no notes. There's a task follow-up and Thanks for reaching out. I'm seeing if you're interested in this building here. We have one that's just like this. Good. Have we called yet today? No, I expect to see that tomorrow. So we see all the information that these people are sending. Hey, I've designed a building for you. 
this is what we need as a as a Google Ads agency because then I can go through and say, okay, here's how we now we look at it. We know that we're dropping off leads. The lead form is quality, and your team is jumping on these things using the tool. And I can see exactly. I physically drove over to their location. I set all this up in person three years ago, and now this client is just cranking, rocking and rolling. So uh, first, that's going to be maybe a little bit different than um, what we're normally looking at is uh, a, a new way to kind of measure things. I've been using this with a, uh, with, for example, or if it's going to be on YouTube, I've been using this for a client that sells 